Hello and welcome back to Children of Morta and yeah in the last episode I completely forgot about time uh, so it was a 43 minutes episode almost 44 I apologize uh, but we are going to continue in this we are clearing out this bonus level basically um, and then we will head on and it seems we have cleared it all yes so let's keep on going in this part of the dungeon which is the real one and And yes, uh, we do, let's see, how is it looking over here? Oh, right, it's up. It's up, 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 and then left. Did I pick you up? Yes, I did. And uh, let's go. And... I suspected this was going to be the end. Welcome, friend, the shopkeeper. Don't mind the occasional blood stain on the merchandise. <laughs> yes. Um, not sure what to take. We do have seven gemstones, which is good. Uh, blood owed, I'm not sure of. This one might be good. Um, yeah, we're going to take that one. And I'm not sure if we're going to take anything else. So... A temporary shield that absorbs all damage received explodes, explodes when it expires, dealing the damage back. Create a totem that greatly buffs you. I might have a, a greater use for the Divine Shield, to be honest. So yeah, let, let's buy that one. And that was all for this floor, so let's head on down to the last one. I'm not going to open this one just yet, so... Create a totem, totem that shoots at enemies around it. I'm not so sure about that one either. Uh, I have two, so I will open this. Which was, was good. Now I have... Four. Yeah, I think the the burning was a good choice. Since we are ranged, it, like burning the enemies might be really useful and helpful helps with a bit of damage and if we need to run away uh, they will take uh, like some damage and yes I knew I was fine uh, doing that so that's why I just stood there Here we go. Okay. A bit of lore. And what's this? Primary attack burn enemies with fire. Okay. Is this going to stack with my uh, item? 
Not sure. Not necessarily the case. Oh, pop, 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 pop. That's not good. Ooh. Okay, that might be a good one. I'm not sure how good the effect might be for that, but we'll see. Yeah, it seems we have uh, cleared up this area, so let's head on to the next one. Oh yeah, it, it, it basically means that uh, whatever enemies happens to be close enough will be drawn into where it's going to uh, hit. And that's... That's helpful. Basically makes it so you increase the chance of hitting. Oops. I thought I could do enough damage. But apparently not. Yeah, and this I'm gonna have to run away. And there we go. Nope. Yes. Standing still in this case is probably the best thing to do because we... Oh, uh in a position where we do more damage if we stand still, so... Uh, yeah. I should probably go with Harmonize so I can move around better. And attack at the same time. Which makes us go up to level 8. We have one more. Um... This one might be super good to have, to have a stun at times because she has a bit of a problem uh, when it comes to crowd control, uh, especially if there's a lot of quick enemies who are fast on their feet. Since she's very slow when moving and attacking at the same time, it is very good to have some more crowd control. Damage enemies on contact, I'm not sure how good that is. I'm gonna pick up this one and this one. Having a bit of companions. Uh, should be good.
The companions doesn't do like insane Danger amount of damage, but was on all sides. Despite being surrounded by all manner of hungering creatures, the two were busy arguing. They should have gone left, they should have gone right. Oh. Perhaps they should have never ventured forth at all. Ooh. Does this stack? It would be so good if it did. Let's do it again. Oh yes it does. Oh yes it does. Which means, yes health globe is not good. But it means that our uh, re regeneration from uh, like passively from the item is can get better and better and better until the point where it's so good you're never going to heal again. The slightest crack in a person's courage was all it needed to enter. Let's see here. Ancient light, uh, an item. Become temporarily invisible. Nope, that's probably not going to be helpful at all. We are not going to pick that one up. Whoops. I really hate the... The... I'm going to summon a bunch of stuff. And yeah. The healing rate is, I would say, probably good enough at this point. Ah, uh, the cost of reducing the area effect. Okay, that's fine. At least should be fine. And that's it. Or it would have been. Is this all? Yeah, I've explored everything. So we are going to go up to the boss at this point. I'm not sure if the obelisk... No, the obelisk effect is staying, so that's good to know. I'm going to skip this. We have seen this. I'm not sure I can, uh, it's possible to, uh, uh, blo like, dodge that. I think you have to have enough damage and HP to just tank it. Finally free of the corruption's hold, Anaya Dyer gazed upon the Bergson, her emerald eyes weary with exhaustion. Right. That was that boss. We did find another mysterious egg and we found uh, an ancient uh, light. 
we got quite a lot of money and so on and uh, yeah I'm not sure how dodgeable many of those attacks are to be honest The spirit's words took life, forming images to reveal what was hidden from the Bergsons. And us, spirits three, knelt before the mountain god Ul to swear fealty. Our wills were set on peace. His was set on testing ours. And as the test drew to a close, we discovered our wretched ending. the mountain god exacted vengeance on the children of Rhea Dana and tainted Rhea with the corruption. Thus was another truth revealed to the Bergson, but many more were hidden still. Questions were abundant in the Berkson's minds. If the Mountain God was the source of the corruption, what had made him wreak such havoc? How had no one known about him before? They needed to find the next spirit, as maybe they had an answer to some of their questions. More truths awaited them in the land of the winds. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm actually quite interested in, interested in seeing how Lucy is as a character. But yes, uh, it's act I have to say, I'll, I'm looking forward to getting uh, further on in the story. So, and find out what the cause is and why this corruption in is spreading and so on and so forth let's check this one and out. yet another letter this time more intimate all ben wanted to hear something anything back from sheila he made no requests and made no mention of past events once again he considered going to terra lava if no reply was forthcoming And, uh, let's see. Now, we haven't unlocked anything else in the Book of Rhea, it seems. And not in the workshop either. So, but we do have almost 4,000 to play with. Uh... I'm not sure what where like what to spend it on or in which like which area like in the book 
area or the workshop. I'm not sure which one is the better one. I'm getting more money would be good, but there will be a diminishing return where, especially early on, where you won't get that much more for how much you're put, paying to increase the amount. And uh, might be good to get movement speed because movement speed is a limiting factor in dungeon crawlers. Um, how much like health, movement speed and uh, damage potential you have. That's uh, especially raw damage which is, isn't like crit chance or any like random uh, random damage which can increase if you are lucky. Uh, I usually, especially when it comes to dungeon crawl crawlers or like a hardcore, a low number uh, games, I usually go for uh, like the primary base damage increase rather than crit chance. Like crit chance is good. Like if you have a high enough chance to get a critical hit you can have insane amount of damage but if it's not high enough you can find yourself in a situation where you're not getting enough crits for the character to work so uh, I remember when I played uh, World of Warcraft uh, certain builds when it came to rogues if, if you didn't have a certain, like, a certain uh, amount of critical hit chance, like, a, at a, as a minimum, you needed, like, 60%. If you didn't have that, then you would not get enough critical strikes to function uh, properly. Uh, so... Yes. And the numbers aren't correct, they are just arbitrarily chosen. I uh, I can't remember how high the crit like the the low like the low cap you needed. The smallest amount you needed to function. I can't remember how how the numbers worked. It, it was so many years ago I played World of Warcraft or uh, any of the Blizzard games uh, at this point so I think the uh, like the re most recent one is uh, Diablo and that was also uh, a while ago at this point so but regardless um, I do need to buff myself because we are getting we are ha we have enough options uh, that we need to be careful where we put our resources now if we if we feel confident with our skills in playing the characters we could just ignore the workshop completely and go with Book of Rhea and get some like money increase. And yeah, I'm going to go with the money. Like I want to increase the amount of money I get as much as possible. Now, I probably should pick something to either help me let's see let's pick this one and 
and that I am getting achievements left and right here because this, this is the first time I'm playing the game so but since I'm catching uh, capturing the game for in full screen uh, and not in screen mode you can't see the like the steam overlay pop up uh, in the lower right corner but I am getting achievements it's not it's just that you can't see them um, and frankly I really don't care about achievements now let's go down and see what the next area is like Nairaha spirit of fealty awaited the Bergsons somewhere in Berahat next take the warriors there Hmm. I feel this uh, game has like these three and then a fourth story area um, but we'll see we go into the second one and yes it seems like this as the previous one has three uh, like areas within the dungeon so And we can play Lucy. Let's check her skills. Uh, that's an interesting one. As long as she has never taken, basically not taking taken damage for eight seconds she has a magical barrier barrier and that one will then absorb the next damage okay and she has a, a cyclone like a tornado which pulls enemies in and damage them she has a decoy she's basically a mage uh, a blink mage uh, oh, and the blink in this case is the decoy I have uh, probably yeah she she's a fire mage who uh, has a few crowd control things and then most of the time it's do a lot of damage and then a, like a few defensive ones but not but let, let's try let, let's see how she plays now i'm going to just showcase this for like a minute or two and then we will end the episode and continue misery and infinite obscurity lay scattered a public exhibition to all those who cross the King of Thieves. Lucy can't choose, shoot while moving. Okay, she, so she has to stand still. As she stands and shoots, her attacks speed up and side winders begin to emerge from her attacks. Lucy uses mana for some of her abilities. Mana regenerates over time. Oh, right, so basically projectiles might spawn, which homes into cause extra damage. Yeah, and if I move... Yeah, even if you move, you're gonna have to, like, re-start uh, her build-up when it comes to the fire damage. Yeah, that's a good attack, I have to say. Uh, yeah. 
yeah, she she's good. She is good. You have to be a bit careful uh, when it comes to the range, and I am going to pick this one up. And with that showcase, we are going to call this episode here. And we are going to keep on going in the next episode with her. Hopefully we will get to the end, we'll see. We will try to level, level her up as much as possible. So without any further ado, thanks for watching, goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.